Mr. Fleckenshaw, do you think the debate on Western Balkans is timely now because there is strong um, Eurosceptic mood and Great Britain is leaving and maybe more countries will have referendum on leaving the EU? Well, uh, I think the one thing has nothing to do with the other thing. If somebody wants to leave the EU, we cannot hinder them, as Great Britain uh, now is doing. But uh, no, I think it's the right time. We have a strategy to reform the EU, we have a strategy for the Western Balkans. A strategy are nice words on white paper, and now we have to do our homework as well. How, what kind of reforms do we need that we can welcome them one day? And on the other hand, of course, a lot of reforms on the rule of law and all the other things have to be done before the day X will come. Why do you think that uh, these reforms can be successful? Because previous enlargement didn't show much success. Even today we talk about problems of corruption in Romania, in Bulgaria. So what gives you optimism? Optimism gives me that in a lot of new countries, at, at a time new countries, uh, it worked in the Balkan, uh, sorry, in, in the Baltic states, in Poland, in, even in the Balkans until now, there are a lot of reforms. Maybe we need some more time than we thought at the beginning when we met in Thessaloniki. I agree. But uh, I'm optimist that this is possible. And the people in the countries are pushing more and more for the reforms because it's not to please Mr. Juncker or Madame Mogherini, it's uh, to change a country. Or to change a country is hardly um, comparable with the Baltic Republics because there is no conflict there equal to Kosovo conflict in Balkans. Uh, and there is no um, Islamic factor and religious conflict that once was known there. So what makes you think that unlike Cyprus, a European Union will play a role to pacify and resolve problems of Balkans. But for example, take the uh, case of Serbia and uh, Kosovo. There are some agreements now. They try to find common ways. It's very difficult to implement. Paper is nice, but implementation is a very difficult thing. And we need time. But they walk step by step. And I think this is good. The other example is Cyprus came in the European Union. We thought, okay, then we solve the problem inside. And you see, nothing is solved until now. So, um, the point is, my point is that why you don't think that this premature uh, talk about Western Balkans entering the European Union wouldn't contribute to Eurosceptic moods of European citizens because our what are the contributions now Western Balkans can bring to the European Union? Let me take it in a different way. I'm very sure in Germany people are not really uh, enthusiastic about enlargement. But they are not enthusiastic because they don't trust the 27 who are obviously not able to rule the European Union today. And how shall they do it with additional members? So that is the two-side approach. We have to do our reforms. We have to do more with a majority, for example, in the council. And we have to train and, and to change uh, the financial and, and other systems. We have to see where, to come, where the money will come for. But if we are prepared and if they have done the reforms, one day we will uh, find a good solution together.